Ah, yeah. As the title probably says, realistic gas filtering. In real life, you can't filter gases or liquids uh, using a magic filter. They just don't exist. There are scrubbers for carbon dioxide, but they are a little more than silicon bead gels for for carbon dioxide. You know the little silicon bead gel things? They absorb water, and then you can, you know, fry them up, get the water out. That's basically how, how that works. So, basically, we've got like a dovetail daisy chain here, and we are basically using the principle of thermal separation. The alcohol industry, oil industry, all kinds of industries do this to sort out uh, products from a starting off solution. We're on lowland here, just because it was nice and temperate, and I thought maybe there might be uh, water on the surface, but there isn't. And we're just bringing in from these two scrubbers, which have actually been on for a very long time. This is to stabilize the temperature in the pipe, so it's uh, always 10 degrees. And I should put my UI back on. There we go. This is the first filtering station. This station filters out uh, pollutants. We got very little pollutant. We got 0.7 centiliters. I don't know what that is. And we're cooling it down to minus 5. Now, at minus 0, it will precipitate out of the mix. But the reason that we're, we want to go to minus 5 is because the coolness of this one, the... Uh, I think my, uh, my... my Here we go. My point of view was kind of, uh, kind of messed up. So we want to bring this down to, to minus 5 degrees because that's the lowest before it starts turning into a solid. Now, because there's so little in the game, and the game has some sort of thing in it where if you have very little of a substance, it will um, auto-magically disappear. So we're using this little patount on the end. This is just a drain valve, and it's just letting it out to atmosphere to say goodbye. Once this is clean, like we can see right here, that this pipe no longer has any pollutants. We go on to this one, and this one drags out carbon dioxide. It's set to minus 50. These ICs automatically fill out the pipes. Right now we're in uh, a very stable condition because I haven't turned on the last uh, extractor yet. And we can see that this one has pulled out all the carbon dioxide. And the carbon dioxide has gone out through this expander valve over the exhaust to cool it down. And then it's being stored in a tank. Right now it's minus 2 degrees. I would like it if it was um, more room temperature. But that's fine. We still have minus 5 degrees on here, giving us uh, some pretty good efficiency numbers. Not great, but they're, they're pretty good. Next, we precipitate out a nitrogen. Nitrogen is the next one. We have that clawing its way down to 110. This by far was the longest because it has the most mass. And it has yoinked out all the nitrogen from that side to this side. And we only have oxygen left. Again, we've got the dove dovetail going over here. Uh, liquid oxygen, we can see. So it can precipitate out at 111 degrees Celsius. Uh, we're going to try for 111 degrees Celsius first. I think that's what this is set to. Yeah, this is almost set to that. So we're going to go to 120. We'll start that. Okay, now... One of the problems that we have here is that this is going to suck it out and we might have uh, some starvation on this side, but they're all set to automatically refill, so that should work. And we turn the volume pump on and this line pressurizes to uh, 40 megapascals. I arbitrarily chose 40 because um, no sound. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, turn them on, turn the thing on, turn the thing on! Okay. <laughs> I forgot to open the valve. We'll also turn this on. Turn everything on. Okay, and we are very quickly getting liquid oxygen out of there. Just needed a little bit of a tipping point. So now we have sorted oxygen at minus 5. Minus 5 is pretty low down there. But we could take this gas and uh, attempt to equal out all of this uh, 
all this crap, but we're not going to do that. And it would be a little more complicated because whatever. But we still have a lot of cooling capacity uh, in this in this waste product. So we haven't recovered at our, at our peak efficiency. It's as easy as that. All of these things, except for the one way down at the end there, are running a very simple code. This is a code. I'm not going to bother to explain it. It's just bodged together. It's basically controlling the... Uh, it's looking at two pipe analyzers to see whether or not to bring gas in from the next set of pipes over and there's safety shit and whatever it's uh it works which is the number one rule in code if it works it works and we are using about two kilowatts two and a half kilowatts that's it and that includes oh no we're not charging the battery anymore but if the final one done at the end of oxygen wasn't pulling uh, any out which it doesn't really need to be because once you get to oxygen you don't need to freeze it for it to be pure oxygen it's already pure oxygen we don't need to separate it i'm just separating it because it happens to be there another setup over here this is uh, more like a base design that one might have and this is uh, only used to separate out carbon dioxide here we are in the mock base uh, we have a pump loading this pipe area here it's a big complicated mess of bullshit and that's because i'm recovering as much thermal energy as possible before you know putting the the 20 degrees celsius air inside we have gotten rid of most of the carbon dioxide it did take a very long time it took basically the same time that it took to build that to pull out all the carbon dioxide now the carbon dioxide can be pulled from the atmosphere faster by purging the system and then repressurizing and that will just uh, suck in huge amounts of gas and cool it down very quickly when it's in a state of equilibrium and this pump is being tuned to work at um, its maximum capacity without you know, vomiting out too much gas uh, and to keep this pressure, this system pressurized at uh, 40 megapascals, which is about 0.4 or 0.5 liters per tick or whatever the hell it is. And it will pull out the carbon dioxide and shove it over here and the uh, pollutant because pollutant um, just sort of goes along with the, uh, with the mess. It's uh, minus 17 in there, so I can still pull a little bit of cooling power out of there and this uh, this atmospheric tuner is just to you know keep the uh, keep the atmosphere stabilized and that's it I did go on to show how to dispose gases into a solid but that's not useful in this game is not oxygen not included you don't save space making things a solid it takes up way more space leave it a gas leave it a liquid compress it shove it down a hole whatever you want to do Oh yeah, and see you later. I just wanted the editing to be over. I fucking hate editing.